I've seen over and over again, children particularly because it's still so alive in them yet, that capacity to create, uh, will resolve problems that they have, will resolve um, conflicts in the family by a drawing. They know what the resolution is, that deeper part, the master in them. And it's expressed usually easily, spontaneously, artistically, because that is also a natural part of the human being. Um, the cave painters, the early ones in France, uh, the, the petroglyphs that one finds in the Indian caves around here, uh, are very much related to that early spontaneous uh, capacity to, to create ourselves by creating out of ourselves. When a hunter would go out to get a buffalo, he would draw the buffalo on the wall in order to understand the buffalo, to have power over the buffalo, to, to get to know what it was like. So that when he met the buffalo, he would already have knowledge of the buffalo. He was expanding, he was teaching himself about the buffalo by his own action as he drew it on the wall. In a very similar way, uh, children will, if given an opportunity to do this spontaneously, gain power over themselves by creating themselves on a piece of paper, uh, with a piece of clay, uh, in a sandbox, by building something in sand on the beach, uh, by telling a story, uh, by, by play acting, uh, theater, by imagining that they are a dragon and being a dragon, going around roaring. Some dragon aspect of themselves is known in the end. They are given the ego, the small ego as it develops, is given the opportunity to have control over that. And not only control in the sense that let's get rid of that dragon, let's learn how to control it, but they begin to have an intimation that they are also part dragon. And that's where the excitement comes. That's where the excitement is that says, yes, I'm um, five, I live with the Smith family, I live in North Hollywood, and I go to uh, a school uh, in the neighborhood, and I belong to, I belong to the Boy Scouts, and I pledge allegiance to the flag. All of that, I know that, but I also know that I'm a dragon. And that's the beginning of that sense of the larger self. Those forms, the forms of um, play acting, those forms of the creative arts, the forms of painting, music, sound, song, storytelling, um, myth-telling, uh, legend, all the acts of the old troubadours, uh, the wise men, the Indian grandmothers sitting around the, the fire at night, uh, spontaneous, natural ways of keeping alive these larger aspects of ourselves. And we're just beginning to remember that that's so, just beginning. Uh, the storytelling form is beginning to re-enter our culture. Um, we're beginning to pay attention to the old myths, uh, to the fairies, fairy tales, uh, the legends. Uh, we're beginning to consider that uh, the expression of ourselves through sound and through uh, paint, through form and color, uh, is not just a uh, leisure time ac activity, uh, something to be done if there's money for it in the schools, but an absolutely essential part of human nature, as essential as breathing, as essential as eating, as essential as dreaming at night. Uh, all of these actions of ourselves, which allow the master, the deeper part of ourselves, to instruct us about ourselves, um, to begin to allow for the wisdom that can come uh, through our own action in creating. For my belief is that as we create in that form, we are actually in the process of creating life, our lives, and consequently, the life of the collective in which we live. Mm -hmm.